Hello everyone, it's Angel from the Abernathy's Go Green and excuse my no makeup face because today we are going to be masking with the Live Botanical Luna Rose and Honey Glowing Mask. I've had this mask for quite a while and I have I think one more use out of this jar so I thought this would be a perfect time to share this with you guys because I don't think I've ever talked about this mask here in my channel. I got this in a pearlesque box sometime um, in the late 2018. I don't remember exactly when and I don't think I made like any kind of an Instagram post or anything about this so here it's almost done and I thought I needed to do a little review I do have their website pulled up here in front of me because I want to tell you guys what their claims are and go through the ingredients also and then I'll tell you what I think about the products afterwards so it says it's inspired by ancient beauty traditions of honey infusions and powdered herb Massage, a deeply hydrating and cleansing mask made with whole herbs, botanical extract, and fruit enzymes blended with raw honey. Together, the botanicals help refine the skin while providing essential moisture, leaving you with bright and glowing complexion. This can be used daily as a cleanser or two to three times as a mask. I have been using this mask about once a week. Um, I like it as a midweek mid mask, so usually on a Wednesday, to give my skin just a little boost. It says to open carefully, stir well. As a mask, you're supposed to apply a thin layer to clean wet face. Leave on for 15 to 30 minutes. Rinse with lukewarm water while massaging in the herbal grains to enhance exfoliation. So whenever I first got this, I don't think I read that very well at all but this doesn't have any kind of emulsifiers so the grains were all on top of the mask and i just scooped it all up and applied it to my face i didn't realize that i really had to stir it into the whole mask so i just scooped up all of the grains in that one time so now towards the end of my jar i don't have very much grains at all so that was my own fault but if you do pick this up make sure to really stir it really well before using it especially that first time I should have paid attention to that. I think it even says it on the jar itself to stir really well. Yes, stir mask well, apply a thin layer, <laughs> and da da da. <laughs> but I didn't read it, that was my own fault. Uh, be careful not to introduce any water because it doesn't have any kind of preservatives or anything, it's very natural. But, but of course, honey is very self preserving, but just make sure you don't put any water in the jar. Um, so the first ingredient is raw organic honey. It says that it's one of nature's most gentle and well-rounded well ingredients. It's a humectant that balances hydration by either increasing moisture or absorbing excess oil, both of which I need. Um, it contains key minerals, vitamins, antioxidants to restore vitality to the skin, properties such as mild gluconic acid, gently refines and brightens complexion, naturally antibacterial to support breakouts and congestion. It does contain whole organic flowers of rose calendula and dandelion root which help to tone and lessen scarring with astringent properties. Local herbs are freshly dried in-house to maintain potent plant compounds. They are powdered right before being added to the honey and they create a fresh infusion that becomes more active the longer infused. It also does contain organic papaya that has fruit enzymes to slough off dead skin gently for mild exfoliation to reduce fine, fine lines and dark marks. It also has organic aspen, which contains a natural and mild form of salicylates to help clear and soften the skin. Also some organic chia seeds, which creates a nurturing and protective layer of moisture to soothe inflammation and increase hydration. And it's also got essential oils of rose and organic chamomile to create a beautiful and calming aromatic experience and even out the skin tone. It's also got vegetable glycerin and jojoba oil to help with moisture and hydration. So that's about it for the ingredients. It's very simple and natural and everything has a purpose. So I really like that. So let me take you through how I like to apply this. So first thing in the morning, how I usually do my skincare is I would either wash my face with a cream cleanser or in mornings like today, I really don't feel like I need it very much. I will just uh, take a cotton round with, with my George's Aloe and Rose Water in this little spray bottle. Spray that on the cotton round and then my face too. And then just use this cotton round to kind of wipe whatever skincare I had from last night. And of course, it'll also sweep away all the excess dead skin. <laughs> 
so just very quickly go over my whole face and then before I apply the mask because it's honey based and very sticky I like to do another layer of this on my face make sure it's nice and wet and then just take a little scoop of this mask that's what it looks like but like I said the first time I used this I scooped up all of the the grains that were sitting on top of it so right now I can still feel a little bit of granules but not like how it was the first time I used it the first time I used it whenever I did that I was like oh my gosh I don't think I can use this because it's so abrasive but thinking back now that first scoopful was supposed to be incorporated into this whole jar of honey mask so like I said, that was my bad. Massage it into that little mark left over by some breakouts. But yeah, like I said, I like to use this mask about once a week. And then especially after I've had a breakout, sometimes you're just left with dry skin around where you've had those pimples. So this just really helps kind of clear those away. I don't know what to do with my hands now because they're sticky and I gotta wash them off. But I'm going to leave this mask on for about... It says 15 to 30 minutes, but honestly, I leave it on for much longer than that. I usually put this on and then kind of do my morning routine, do laundry, dishes, all that stuff. So I'm going to leave this on and then when I come back, we're going to be taking this off. And I think I'm going to share with you guys my morning skincare routine also because I don't think I've ever done that in my channel. I feel like Ricky Bobby from Talladega Nights. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with my hands? But... Anyways, we're gonna let this mask sit on my face and I will be right back. Hey guys, so I'm back. It has been about an hour and it's time to wash off this mask. I usually wash this off in the sink, but for today's purposes, I'm doing this with you guys. I'm, I just took a wet washcloth. These are baby washcloths that I like to use as cleansing cloths. Mine is nicely stained with turmeric from when I do turmeric masks. It's not baby poop, I promise. <laughs> Turmeric just stains everything. And especially because this has the little it's a terry cloth, so it's got those little texture. It's just a perfect spot for those little turmeric stains to, to snuggle up and just stay forever. So yeah, this little towel just washed that off perfectly. My skin's not sticky from the honey anymore. But like I said, normally I would wash this off in the sink. So the next step in my skincare after I wash it is a toner or a face mist. And right now I'm using the Jordan Samuel Hydrate the Mist. I'm almost out of it. I've had this since about the middle of November. And I'm really liking it. So I just mist that on my face liberally and then take my fingers and then just kind of press it into my skin. And I just drench my skin with that. And I even put it on around my eyes. So just press that in a little bit. And then while it's still a little damp, I'm going to follow it with a serum also from his line. It's the Hydrate Facial Serum. This is a little bit newer from his line. And I've been loving this also. It's a very lightweight hyaluronic acid serum. but it has aloe. Let me just read you the ingredients while I'm letting this kind of soak into my skin. It has aloe, vegetable glycerin, hyaluronic acid, um, vitamin C in the form of sodium ascorbyl phosphate, um, xanthan gum as a thickener. It has tamarind, cucumber, passion flower extract, acetyl hexapeptide 51, sodium benzoate as a preservative, and then it also has organic willow bark extract. It's very lightweight and honestly whenever I first got this I didn't think it would be hydrating enough for winter. I thought it would be more of a summer serum for me but it's so hydrating. I love it. And then after that's kind of synced into my skin some more I do another layer of the hydrate the mist. And then I don't press that in.
I kind of just leave my skin wet like this while I mix up my moisturizer with my oil. The moisturizer that I'm currently using is the Ursa Major Golden Hour Recovery Cream. I mentioned this in my 2018 skincare favorite. It's a very nice thick cream moisturizer. I don't find it greasy or anything despite it being very thick. And then this is also the step where I mix my facial oils. Right now I'm using the Laurel Facial Serum. This, this is the antioxidant oil serum that she has. Look at how beautiful that is. Very rich yellow color. I'm gonna do about two drops. Okay, maybe three. <laughs> and, and then just create a little emulsion with the oil and the cream together and then apply it onto my wet face. And I find this to be the best way to really incorporate all of that skincare and all of this product actually sink into my skin. And then I just massage that around. I even use this under my eyes. So now that I've got my skincare on, my skin just feels very soft and exfoliated and happy and hydrated. I feel like I can face this cold winter weather that we're having and my skin's gonna be very well protected from this climate. That can just be over as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Not a fan of the cold. But I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Oh, and also, my husband and I are going to be doing a Q&A that is going to air here on my YouTube channel on Valentine's Day. So if you guys have any questions that you would like us to answer, leave them on the comments below and we'll make sure to answer some of your questions. I know he's really excited about it. We've already gotten a couple of questions and I think it's gonna be very interesting. So make sure to leave them on the comments down below or DM them to me on Instagram. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for spending a little bit of your day with me and I will see you on my next video. Bye.